Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be a general reading for the zodiac sign of Pisces. It will not resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. This is for any Pisces placement propensity that is important to you. Contact information, personal reading information, anything seen in the video will all be on my website. The link for that is in the description box. At the end, we will also pull some Oracle cards for you just to give you some more guidance for the week. Oops. And I do only take jumpers, so patience is necessary. The reading is aimed for February, although time is elusive. Whenever the reading reaches you, that's when it is for you. Two cards out, both major arcanas, big things going on. What else do we have for Pisces, please? Pisces, Pisces, Capricorn and Taurus energy may be important to you. We just left Capricorn season. Pis um, Taurus season is coming up after Pisces season, after your season, you are coming up next. What else do we have for Pisces, please? But some big changes. <laughs> some big, big changes. It's too many. What else do we have for Pisces? Three more cards for Pisces, please. Okay. I was actually seeing Seven of Swords in the pre-shuffle. So, bottom of the deck this week, Pisces, we are looking at the Seven of Cups. So we have two sevens here. 7-7, seven, seven, jackpot energy. Some of you, this is lucky, faded sort of energy, right? Seven of Cups is a card of confusions, illusions. Also could be a card of daydreaming, okay? Also could be a card of daydreaming. So whether you are, or, or could be just not seeing things clearly as well. Being foggy-minded, not seeing things clearly, but also a card of having options, right? But it also is a card of not seeing things clearly because clearly not all these options are, are worth even being an option. So that could definitely be what some sort of illusion is around. Maybe someone thinks they have more options than they really do in some sort of daydream illusionary bubble or they're daydreaming about something or someone in particular, maybe trying to figure out how to approach something. Brainstorming energy also for me. In your past position, we're coming in with Major Arcana, the Devil card for Capricorn. Capricorn energy and the Queen of Swords, air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius could be relevant. This is definitely cutting off toxicity, cutting off attachments, cutting off low vibrational people, places, and things that no longer serve us. You can clearly see her back is turned to the nonsense, right? This could represent one particular person or just a mindset, a way of thinking, bad habits, you know, could be many different things. Maybe it's all of them. Needing to be cut up, needing to be seen for exactly what they are. Queen of Swords, she's the perfect person, male or female, does not matter. We all have male and female propensities. But the absolute perfect sort of energy someone can use to see, to, to, to uh, get logical, very logical energy, straight to the point, as a matter of fact. No if, ands, or buts type of energy. So whether this is you, that's definitely putting your foot down, turning your back to some shit, communicating that you will no longer be dealing with any nonsense or anything below board but this is definitely clarity if there was any sort of illusion prior that is no longer some of you are definitely coming out of this energy you were dealing with situations situations that were very elusive not really seeing the absolute truth or what it is you needed to see in order to make a, a educated decision but definitely seeing something clearly now and whatever is not fitting, we are letting go of it. We are turning our back. We are no longer this sword. I mean, how it's no coincidence that there's chains here and she's got a big old sword. She's kind of like, I dare you. Yeah, I dare you try to continue to manipulate me because I see you for exactly what you are. And that's the devil, so to speak, right? Devil energy. Present position, two major arcanas, Taurus energy with the Hierophant and Scorpio energy with the tower card big changes here going on big big changes upheaval someone could definitely not be expecting this sort of approach or demeanor from you you could not be expecting this approach or demeanor from you because whatever this past situation was it was definitely something you were connected to you were attached to 
energetically, spiritually, sexually, definitely sexually for some of you with that devil energy. But something you were attached to, something you did not want to let go of, you were bonded to, whether a soul, you know, any level, there was a bond there that you didn't want to let go of, most likely. That, that That's what was keeping you, maybe because this person was keeping you in illusionary energy, right? But no more. No more illusionary energy. This could come as a shock to you. Maybe you never thought you would end this relationship. Could be a friendship. Could be your mom. That is super toxic. And because she's your mom, you keep her around, right? Not anymore. Queen of Swords energy. Toxic is toxic. No matter what earthly label we put on these uh, meat suits, low vibration is low vibration. If someone can elevate their vibration, then absolutely we can. You know what I mean? But if it's a constant sort of keeping you foggy, head in the clouds, not really seeing what it is. No more. Definitely something you were committed to heavily or you were just committed to making this change. You were committed to yourself. Five is a definite energy of change. Definitely this is something that you have been holding on to for a long time. Definitely some attachment there in whatever capacity. But it's all falling apart. You could have also found out something that made things very clear for you. Okay, definitely could have found out some information. Queen of Swords is also an information card. Future energy, Page of Wands, Sagittarius energy in specific with the Seven of Swords. Some sort of good news around, or definitely I'm get, getting some of you found some news out about some deception that someone was going on with behind the scenes. Someone was trying to, you know, definitely elude with these two sevens here. Someone was definitely trying to pull a fast one on you right? Secretive, not telling you the whole truth, telling you what they need to tell you, just enough, keeping you in this elusive bubble. Whatever, if whether you found out information, saw something, realized something, whatever it was, it was definitely en enough to bring the house down. This was definitely someone you could have considered a soulmate, or definitely could have been a soulmate. Soulmate gone toxic, someone with control issues, Aries energy, someone that definitely had control issues, toxic, but this is definitely the state of someone now, and I don't think it's you. I think this is either about to happen or it has already happened, especially with Valentine's Day has just passed. Trust me, we've, we came to a lot of realizations on Valentine's Day, trust me. Right? Let's get some oracles. We have come to a lot of realizations on Valentine's Day, a lot of us. So... No longer, no longer pretending or, or lying to thyself. Koala spirit number 35, which is an eight. Spirit has a plan. He sure does. Sure does. There's something better waiting for you. You could also be getting some sort of good news after this, right after this sort of thing has ended. You could be getting some sort of news immediately after and maybe not telling anyone about it because... Seven of Swords could also be um, strategic energy, right? You could be receiving some news. As soon as you communicate or, or make it clear or come to the understanding, even if it's just within yourself, that you're done with something, it's over, you're like you're moving on, things move forward very quickly, right ahead, fast, almost like instantaneously. You definitely might keep it a secret, but there is definitely some sort of illusion that's coming to light. Some sort of deception. Lying energy. Ain't telling the truth. What else do we have? Prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. Yeah, prosperity lies ahead. So whatever this change is, whatever it is you're finding out and you're releasing, even though it may hurt, it's absolutely meant to be and it's going to put you exactly, it's going to create space for what is for you. Taurus is very financial abundant energy too. Your money might get really good. That is for sure. But spirit has a plan and this was all a part of it. What do we have for Pisces? Taurus season might be important to you as well. Taurus, yeah, because we have two Taurus placements here. A Taurus could be relevant. Maybe this started in Scorpio season, could be dealing with a Scorpio. Pisces, what do we have for Pisces? Soul family, calling your tribe, you don't have to do it alone. Yeah, some of you definitely might be meeting someone new as soon as this space is created in your spiritual body. 
because you know the 3d body has moved on quote unquote but the spiritual body sometimes has remnants right of whatever this devil energy represents for you and it's very interesting how they're very much two different spectrums of the same energy they're they're almost you know their stance is almost identical the only difference is these two people are willingly here they're here by choice these people not so much they're under some sort of illusion right trick trick trickster energy whatever reason they're here for it's not willingly or maybe it was and then they realized it was just a trick to get them here but these two people are willingly here this is what you want not this thing all right pisces beautiful energy for you this week i really do hope that resonates with you thumbs me up leave me a comment if it does and i will see you all next week